chaos and confusion have overrun the world. But there are still moments of rest and relaxation. This is Lockdown Bog. Now, this poem is entitled On a Change in Literary Fashions. I promise it's not quite as dry as it sounds. A change for the better is to be commended. I have found at this time an exchange poor but fortunate, which has turned out profitable for me. I have abandoned the delicate series of keen and earnest admonitions for a common sort of easy art, which brings me more praise. By the obscurity of carven ornament, I used to earn disgust. Many protested that my verse was unworthy of favour. Henceforth, though, great is the luck. I renounce a single groat of the profit thereof if one stanza of my poetry passes the understanding of anyone in the world. Free and easy verse on the open road, since that is what is asked of me, I will discharge the debts by the leave of the Earl of Tyrconnell. The dunces of the world would not beat me in softness and artlessness, I have gone out in the rain like the rest, a wise course. I have abandoned what greater luck, my hard, mysterious ways. If he hear some of my verse, it will make the earl laugh. Lest I be put out of the protection of those from whom splendour was won, I refuse to let Tyr Connell's prince go upon a jury to try me. Through bad verse, many a one is full of love for me this year. I would earn more affection, but for my fear of the earth. A's son, the sober-minded, a man who found my hard verse very soft. It is easy for me to be brave now that he is away in England. Every poem I composed hitherto used almost to break my heart. This new fashion that has come to us is a great cause of help. If the chief of Bernus find fault with any quatrain that is made by me, there will be many opposed to him. A change for the better is to be commended. Now, the point of this poem is to celebrate a change in literary fashions, as the title suggests, but also to celebrate the change in, well, to celebrate the change in fashions, but to celebrate the freedom that is brought to the poet. So the poet talks about preferring to have his poem understood than to make money from it. He talks about having abandoned his mysterious ways. And what I believe he's talking about here is there were very strict rules on bardic poetry for a long time. On the kind of metaphor, the kind of references to be made, and very, very strict technical rules for the structure of the poems. And the thing is, with the combination of all of these things, it could make the poetry incomprehensible to anyone who did not have a sufficient level of education. And not even necessarily a sufficient level of education, but a very specific kind of education. One that would have only been available to the nobility. And so this poet is celebrating the fact that he is now free to write poetry that anyone can understand. And I agree very much with this poet that this idea that poetry or any form of literary work must be difficult to comprehend without a certain kind of education. To me, artists who believe that, they aren't trying to communicate meaning or, or emotion with their work. They're trying to communicate status. They're trying to communicate that I am better than you. 
that is the point of their work. That is the point of these strict, very strict ideas of metaphor and structure and that kind of thing. And frankly, I, I agree with this poet. I believe that that entire way of doing things is absolute bullshit. I hope you enjoyed this poem. Thank you very much for watching.